Hi, Sean Vincent here from the Silverbow Fly Shop in Spokane, Washington. Today we have a tutorial for you on swinging soft tackles. We'll get going in just a second. What type of water do you look for when you're swinging soft tackles? Well, typically we're looking for riffles or very broad currents like this one behind me or runs. We want that water to be somewhat shallower, so anywhere from a couple feet deep, maybe up to four feet deep. We're not looking for big tanky pools, and we're not looking for very fast current seams. We're looking for nice, broad, even current where there's a lot of insect life and the fish are sitting in, in little buckets or behind rocks and in the currents. What time of the year do you fish soft tackles? Well, they can really be fished from early spring through late fall. Typically, you're going to fish soft tackles during caddis emergences, but they can also be fished during mayfly emergences too. When you've got fish feeding on or near the film, or you've got picky fish, fish that just won't eat the dry fly you're presenting, it's a great time to try swinging a soft tackle in front of them. When we rig our soft tackles, we really keep it pretty simple. Okay, nine foot leader taper down to 4x, maybe 5x or 6x depending on the water you're fishing if it's really clear and you got fickle fish. But here on this river we got nine foot 4x uh, taper leader. My, I have two soft tackles. My first soft tackle is typically a little bit bigger and it has a bead or some weight to it. That helps get the fly down below the surface film. And then the second fly I just attach tip it right on the bend of the hook. It could be the same size as your leader or maybe one size lower. And then about 16 to eight or 16 to 20 inches behind that, I've got a smaller soft tackle. And I usually try to vary them. The lead one's a little bigger, maybe a little more flashy. The second one is a little more subtle and more natural. There's three simple techniques we use when swinging soft tackles. The first one is your classic down and across swing. It's very simple. When you're fishing, you're presenting your fly down and across from you in the current. Again, we're looking for riffles or broad currents where the current comes all into the bank. You can set your swing up by just lifting and lowering the rod and repositioning the line so you can slow that swing down just a little bit. Sometimes you may need to uh, mend downstream just to allow that swing to continue into the bank. Very simple. Okay, everything's tight. You'll feel the fish grab very very easy way to fish soft tackles after each cast take a couple steps down cover new water swing cover new water and so forth it work your working your way down the run the second technique is the similar setup it's a down and across presentation but we add a little action to the fly one one method is a hand twist retrieve this gives the fly a very slow kind of uh, erratic motion and the other is a short strip strip pause. Some people don't like doing the hand twist retrieve because it's a little tedious. That's where a short strip like that with a little pause might be a little easier. Sometimes a long slow pause is fine too. And then the third technique is that down and across presentation and then you're letting it swing into the bank. You might set it up with a little mend just to slow it down but then to give it a little bit of an action occasionally is just a little twitch of the rod tip. Sometimes that little twitch of the rod tip is just enough to trigger the fish to hit. And you could even mix it up. You can do a smooth, slow swing with a little hand twist retrieve and then sporadically throw in a little rod, rod tip twitch and see what happens. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> That's funny. So you can see when you're swinging soft tackles, that grab, it's tight. You can feel it. It's usually, uh, at least on this river, it's usually pretty aggressive. So there's no mistake in the take. You got to be careful though. If you're using light tippet, you can easily break fish off. So. This fish uh, kind of cooperated pretty nicely. We got a couple of aerials out of them. And now, slide them in. Just took, uh, actually took the lead fly. It's got a 
little kind of a copper john soft tackle. There you go. Nice pretty rainbow. Usually doesn't work on film like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right that wraps up our swinging soft tackle technique video again keep it simple down and across presentations occasionally add a little twitch or a strip to it for a little motion and if you're getting into steelhead fishing this is a great way to practice swinging for steelhead or it's a great way to kill time between steelhead seasons uh, but if you have questions just let us know at silverbowflyshop.com and thanks for watching